Yo yo, we are back in After Effects and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to exactly create that explosion effect. Man, since I dropped that video, everyone been asking for that. How we did the explosion? How we did the explosion? So finally now I'm making a video about it. So the first thing we're gonna do is rotoscope out our foreground, the foreground object. If you know what I mean, like we're gonna separate our background and our foreground so we can place our explosion in the middle. So check your rotor brush tool and start rotoscoping everything that's on foreground like this you can see this van is on the foreground these guys are in the foreground this road is in the foreground so, so I'm just gonna brush over them I'm gonna quickly rotoscope this out and see you guys so as you can see i selected everything that was in the foreground like the road like the guys and the van so i'm gonna go through and check if the rotoscope is done well let it load for a second it seems everything is perfect on the rotoscope so we just gonna freeze it now let it freeze now you can see our foreground objects are all separated so to bring back our background i'm gonna just duplicate this clip mute the first one and just go over to rotoscope and just delete the rotoscope from it now we can see our background and our foreground is separated you can also add like a feather some feathers then i'm gonna turn off the visibility of my roto clip i'm gonna name it roto to wait roto yeah and i'm gonna name this bg bg let's go so now after you turn off the visibility of your roto layer go over to tracker and just track camera and go over to advanced and just select detail analysis it will just make the track a lot better give it a second to load after that you can see this track point on your scene now i'm gonna select a track point in the background and create a solid and camera yeah this is a pretty good track right here you can mess with the solid too just make it a bit wide yeah this is a pretty good track no errors on it so i'm gonna turn off the solid for now and then we're gonna go over to our project panel and in the description you'll find like a explosion asset that you can download for free it is from footage great that i downloaded so i'll link this in the description so you can download let's just drag and drop this onto our layer first and just make the explosion 3d layer so it is also tracked to our footage now turn on the visibility of the track solid 2 and go over to here where it says view 1 just set it to view 2 and you'll see another view on your viewport i'm gonna zoom out a little like about here yeah i'm gonna push this to over to the track solid so it is tracked perfectly you know like that don't worry about the size not for now after that you can just set it to view one and just scale it up scale up the explosion you can turn off the solid actually now you can actually delete it we don't need it anymore so i'm gonna also rotate it and scale it a bit more and you can turn on the visibility of your rotor layer and put it above the explosion so the explosion is happening on the background obviously it already looks pretty solid and you can already see that the explosion looks really cool already so we're gonna add like a missile coming through as well so this will be a link in the description of this footage I'm drag it on here put it over the rotor layer for now so you can see it then just go over the time and go over the time stretch and make it to like 50 i guess so it's a bit fast now we can rotate it scale it up and yeah this is the perfect time i'm gonna play with the timing you can put it below the explosion we also added the missile on the scene now we can see so now we're gonna make it look really realistic so first drag around the ca 3d camera that you have and select those three explosion clips and just pre-comp it all together so it is all in one single layer then you can add like a optical glow onto it here this is one of my favorite glow included in vfx suite by red giant of course so if you have this i recommend you 
using this instead of the normal glow or you can also use some layers of the normal glow and get the same look by the way for now I'll bring up the size and bring down the amount and go over to a setting called highlight only and just increase that so it is only affecting the highlights you know you can also go over to auto tint and add it like a solid orange or something yeah and go over to alpha channel and set it to extended almost also i'm gonna lower down the saturation because our scene is not that saturated uh i will play with this glow too actually i'm gonna go over to the pre-comp and i'm gonna change the color of the missile to something like red that would look way better and i'm gonna also add like a blur onto it fast box blur with amount of three now i'll add the sauce which is the create light warp this is a plugin which is available free at their store i'll also link this down below so you can downwards it's completely free and and it's the most useful thing ever so to use it go over to background layer and select your pre-comp and you can already see we have that light warp going on we can play with the width too we can i will increase the blur and i'm gonna lower down the width probably increase the blur increase the exposure as you can see it looks way more realistic this way now lastly we're gonna add a shake to top it all off from my shake pack which i just launched so to add that shake just create the adjustment layer real quick like that then go over to your effects and preset go over to animation presets and go over the user presets and you will find my shake pack if you don't know how to install presets i'll leave a tutorial down below so you can check it out and as you can see there's a lot of shake to choose from i'm gonna choose in the sd because my comp is sd for now so i'm gonna choose something like let's go with warp vertical shake let's try this one this is one of my favorite shake if you see my music video closely you can see that i use this preset in every single video of mine so by the way this is how the shake look defaultly it is really in impactful but for now i'm gonna remove like the flicker and i'm gonna actually lower down the exposure too because it's just too much for my clip right now and you can also play with the keyframes after playing around with the shake for a while i have this dope shake and my results look like this if you like this video guys please consider hitting the like button and you can also subscribe me for more videos like this you can also follow me on instagram i'm really active in there too so see you in next video peace